Hi guys, Steve from Walkers Hunting. I'm um, just going to do a quick review on the Reximex Ixia. Now I've owned it for 18 months um, to give you an opinion. Um, what do I think after 18 months? Absolutely love it. Uh, probably one of my favourite guns. Um, it's a different style gun for me. I've not owned a tactical style gun. I've got this one and the XM1 now, um, Stoga, but £650 I paid for the gun 18 months ago. Uh, it's been like a laser beam all the time I've had it, which I don't know if I'm just lucky with this particular barrel. Um, I'm shooting JSB Exact Diablo's 8.44 grains with it in 1.77. Like I say, it is sub 12 foot pound. I've got a twink silencer on the front. Uh, the scope that I generally use on this is a Vector Optics Veyron 3 by 12 by 44 first focal plane, uh, which works very well for me. Uh, I've got a, a, a tactical style bipod that I've put on there, which is just a cheapy one, but it's been good. Got a neoprene cover on the bottle, um, and it's been great. So issues you can have with this rifle, um, magazines are very tight, potentially, when you first buy the gun, so just watch how you're putting them in so you don't damage them. Um, the barrel cover, I'd advise you not to take that off, because I decided to take it off, and when I put it back on, I was just being nosy to have a look underneath. Um, I misaligned it and I was catching pellets in the front of the silencer. So yeah, I wouldn't do that. So you have to realign it yourself until it stops. Um, the other thing I had with this was an air leak uh, only a few months back. Uh, was, you know, I owned the rifle for well over 12 months at this point. Uh, basically the valve hadn't reset and I refilled the gun. I can hear air coming out of the barrel. So couldn't seem to get it to work myself. I'd watched it on, on YouTube telling me to dry fire the rifle 10 times. Didn't work for me. Took it back to the shop, um, which was Solware of Tamworth, which uh, a brilliant shop, really good service. Uh, they did exactly the same, albeit that their air system had more pressure in and put more pressure into the gun. Uh, all they did was dry fire it 10 times and it resealed. So if you do get that, try that first. Um, make sure if your gun's in warranty, just take it back to the shop, guys, at the end of the day. So I check the gun's power uh, monthly on a, on a chronograph. And if you start dropping off on power, take it back while you're in warranty. Why not? Get it, get it how you want it. Um, so my gun had dropped off in power, although I was out of warranty. Um, I'd gone down to, from 11.3, the gun was when I bought it, down to 11. And me being me said, oh, my gun, my power's dropping. Um, so guy said, no problem, I'll change the hammer spring for you while I wait, while I waited for 10 quid. Uh, he swapped over the hammer spring. It's back up to 11.7, which is spot on for this. I can take quarry out at 60 yards, which I wouldn't normally try with a sub 12 foot pound rifle, but I'm that confident with this particular rifle that I'm happy to do that. Um, so all in all, after 18 months, I think Reximex was definitely worth taking a risk. Um, there was a six month waiting list or six months I had to wait for this rifle because they were so popular when I decided to buy one. But it was well worth it. Um, and onwards and upwards, um, when I get my FAC, I will be changing to um, an FX. But at the moment, Rex and Exixia, bob on.